What's up you guys? I'm Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Welcome back to my channel guys. As you guys can see by the title today, I'm doing a massive Shein haul. When I say massive, I literally mean massive. I've never ever gotten a box, never gotten so many things that I needed a box. And I opened this box and I'm truthfully not really sure how they fit everything in here. So we're just gonna get into it. I have about 20 items. Most of them are clothes, but I did get um i think only one bag and we're just gonna see how this goes i'm doing this haul a little differently than i usually do i usually go back and forth from my reviews but i am doing one where you guys are going to see the clothes on me while i talk about them so you guys can kind of get a visual while i talk about them before we get into the video if you have not done so yet make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can go ahead and join the fam without making this intro too long let's get into it Okay guys, so I'm really just grabbing things in no specific order. I'm going to try and find somewhere over here to add the videos of each thing that I try on. So here's the first one. These are the Shein tie bag drawstring ruched pants. I was so, 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 so excited about these pants. They're black, they're super stretchy they're too big honestly they run really big i got these in a size medium but they were way too big they fit way too loose they're so comfortable they feel honestly a little more comfortable than like leggings they flare out at the bottom so it's not fitted but these drawstrings you can tie around you that's what i did in this video honestly you can do whatever you want you can tie these a bunch of different ways i was super super excited about these Honestly, I might even buy these again, but I absolutely, absolutely need to get these in a smaller size. They're just way too big. Up next, we have... This is the snakeskin print crisscross cutout ruched dress. When I tell you this dress was so complicated to figure out how to put on, it took me a solid 5 to 10 minutes to try and figure out how to put it on. But once you put it on, it's super cute. It's super, super stretchy, so there's plenty of room. I got this in a size small, and I'm super glad I didn't go with a medium on this one. So you can see it is really ruched. It has great stretch to it. It also has this little piece down here where you can like pull it down, make it shorter or longer. I give this a smooth nine and a half out of 10. It's super cute, super cute on, fits amazing, looks really well on. The only issue was it took forever to figure out. All right, up next, we have these jeans. When I tell you I would have never bought jeans from Shein, but these, baby. <laughs> I might have to start, okay? These are the high waist flare leg jeans. They're just regular jeans, you think. <laughs> and then boom, they flare out at the bottom. So cute, these are so stretchy and they're such thick material. It's such, such thick and stretchy material. It looked really well on me. It felt really, really, really flattering. And my butt look amazing, let me tell you. By the way, if you guys see me looking down, I have the list of everything and what all the names are, just so you guys can get the names. But I also will be linking them all down below, so if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. These pants, I'm gonna give a smooth 10 out of 10. I love these and I literally cannot wait to wear these out. I have so many cute outfits planned for these jeans. Uh, up next, we have this really cute top. It is the Leopard Plunge Crop Halter Top in a size small. When I tell you I cannot wait to wear this out, this is literally an understatement. This is big titty approved, okay? You can tie it to give it as much or as little support as you need. I love this. This is giving me very much party, like go out type. I wouldn't wear this to, like a family dinner or anything but this is super cute and i can't wait to wear it out i'm gonna give this a smooth 11 out of 10. this definitely exceeded exceeded my expectations this is really just giving me everything that i wanted it to give okay up next we have this really really cute two-piece set this is the 
leopard crop top and split hem skirt set in a size medium. So it is really cute, really, really stretchy material. It's super cute. It is on the thinner side. I wouldn't wear any bright underwear under this. I really loved it though. It was super cute. We had, we had a few issues with the top. The top is very, it's too wide and not long enough. <laughs> I don't know why it's so wide. Like it's honestly a little loose. It was only $9. I can't really like be too mad about it, but I am going to give this a 5 out of 10. Just not what I was expecting. Material was not good. Honestly, not really sure if I'm going to wear this out. Not a huge fan. I did enjoy this. Probably not going to wear it. Probably going to send it back. Didn't like it as much as I thought it was going to. Definitely was not giving what I thought it was going to. On to the next. Up next, we have this really cute oversized shirt. This is the letter and car print oversized tee in a size medium. I could have gotten a size small. Sometimes when things say oversized, they're not really oversized. So I wanted to like make sure because I do typically wear a small in like t-shirts. But this, you can go to your regular size. This is definitely, definitely oversized. But I really like this. I'm going to give this shirt a smooth 9.5 out of 10. I really like this. I could have just gone with a small, but it's not a big deal. I'm definitely still going to wear it super cute on, and I actually really, really enjoy it. Up next, we have this marble tie-dye mesh button shirt. I'm giving this a smooth 0 out of 10. Actually, you know what? I'll be a little generous. I'll give it a 2 out of 10. I got it in a size medium. It is too small. It is not big titty friendly. It is, it's not giving anything I wanted it to give. That was going to be so cute. As soon as I buttoned it up, titties out. I, mm, I was honestly super, super disappointed in this. And I'm not going to give this more than two seconds. It was just, it was uncomfortable. Too many things wrong with this outfit. I am absolutely 200% sending this back. And up next we have, oh I know what this is. This is the cutout detail split thigh dress in a size medium. When I'm telling you if they had more colors, I would have bought every single color. I'm literally in love with this dress. I wore this over the weekend to a nice dinner. So cute. This is so cute. It's such a thick material. I wore, I literally wore bright underwear under this, not see through at all. Then we have, it's very like cut out, like your whole stomach is going to be out, but it's still connected, which I really like. This skirt part of the dress, it, we are showing a little leg here, a lot of leg actually, okay. I wouldn't wear this on the windiest of days, just because this will like kind of fly out. That's the only thing about this dress. I'm still going to give this a 10 out of 10. Super, super flattering, made my body look amazing. I love this dress. I literally want to put it on right now, but if I didn't have any other clothes to show you guys, I would probably put it on right now, just just because it's so cute. Ugh. Up next, we have... These are the Highway Zebra Stripe Wide Leg Pants in a size medium. They're really cute and they're really cute on, but I am going to return them. I'm honestly never, never, never going to wear these. They're not my style. They don't seem like see-through, but they are really, really thin. It just was not the material that I thought it was going to be. It is very cute though. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 though. Just not, not, not for me. It was a little tighter on me than I thought it was going to be for this material. If it was a different material, like the jean material, I thought this was gonna be super cute. It wasn't really giving me what I thought it was gonna give me, so. Definitely probably gonna have to return this one. Not a favorite out of the haul. On to the next. Up next, we have this collared v-neck rib knit tee. So this is kind of hard because truthfully, I bought this just to wear under things just to get like that cute collar. But it's literally see-through. It's literally so see-through. I don't buy things from Shein that are typically white just because I imagine that they're going to be see-through. If I was going to wear it by itself, it'd probably get a 5 out of 10. But because I'm just going to be wearing it under things, I'm going to give it about an 8 out of 10. It's super, super comfortable, super stretchy. And this collar is really what I wanted. And it is super cute, super cute under things. I've already tried it. 
So I'm not super mad about this one. Definitely not going to be wearing this by itself, but it's not a bad top. Next up is this rhinestone baby girl graphic crop tee. Oh, this is so cute. I was so excited to get this. I should have gotten this in a medium because honestly, it wasn't super tight, but it is a little tighter on my arms. If it wasn't for that, it probably would have been like 9 or 10 out of 10. But because I didn't get it in the right size, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 only because I hate when things are too tight on my arms. I like to like move around a lot and it's not really what I want. So I'm definitely going to wear it. Definitely going to try and get this in a size medium. Hopefully it doesn't sell out. It was kind of selling quickly. So we'll see. Up next, this is the solid tie halter top. It is literally one piece of fabric. It was kind of complicated to put on. It was honestly worth it. The material is super stretchy, super thick. I'm going to give this a smooth nine and a half out of 10 only because it was a little complicated to figure out. I had to go back to the Shein website and like look through the pictures to try and figure out how the girl put it on so I could put it on right. But once it's on, it's kind of cute. I would wear some pasties with it and maybe even some fashion tape just to hold the girlies in place. Okay guys, up next I have this drop shoulder button up tunic blouse. And it is a little thinner than I thought it was going to be. I got it in a size small, but I got it to pair with this rectangle but buckle belt. I'm going to talk about the shirt first. The shirt is on the thinner side, but this, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It was just very see-through, which is not a favorite thing of mine. On to this belt, though. I was super excited about this belt, too, except it doesn't fit. Like, I can put it in here, but it looks weird because this is the buckle, this is how much space you get, and this is the piece that has to go in it. And I'm honestly giving this a 4 out of 10. <laughs> it's just designed, it's just not designed well. But together, I'm giving them 6.5, maybe 7 out of 10 to be generous. Up next is this rhinestone letter crop top. It says honey on it. I got this in a size small should have gone with a medium just for length purposes when i wear this it's not super short i do have to wear like some pasties that like lift up the girlies though i'm gonna give this still a an eight and a half out of ten it is super 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 cute the material is super nice i don't feel restricted at all none of the rhinestones have fallen off so far i'm not super concerned that they're gonna come off at least in no time soon i should have gotten this in a medium but honestly with the small i'm not mad about it i'm still gonna wear it still cute to me all right up next we have this is the Neon Lime High Leg Bikini Panty. Super cheeky. Let me tell you, super cheeky. This is honestly amazing quality. $6. It's super cheeky and super stretchy, okay? I like this a lot. And to go with it, I also got... This is the Not Waist Sheer Cover Up. So this is basically just a cover-up to go around your swimsuit. So it's basically just like one long piece of cloth and you can just tie it around your side. It looks super, super cute on, super flattering. The only thing is this bottom part. I don't know if I was tying it too tight or what, but it seems to come up just a little bit. But honestly, still not about, mad about it. Still looks super cute. So I'm going to give both of these a 10 out of 10. I was honestly super, super, super happy and surprised that these were such great quality. So I did give one person. This is the Minimalist Flap Chain Crossbody Bag. I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. Honestly, I can't be really mad about it. It was four dollars it's not bad i it just looks very 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 thin because it is thin only because i don't have anything in it yet hopefully it'll look better once i put something in it but right now not a huge fan of it i'm not gonna return it it was literally four dollars i can't really complain but i definitely want to put something in it and see like what it looks like after that because right now not on my favorite list quite yet so I like this, but I definitely need to look at it a little bit more. Guys, I only have two things left. I'm kind of sad. But this is the cold shoulder asymmetrical hem contrast stitch top. That is a mouthful. I was so excited about this shirt. 
I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. It's too short. The arms are too tight. It is too thin. It's kind of see-through. Okay, I got it in a small, so that might have been part of the issue. But it just looks so much longer on the models, but that might be because the girlies are a little bigger. I'm giving it probably six and a half. Let's not be generous with this one. This would not recommend. It looks super cute, but not in person. Okay, I didn't save the best for last, but this top did not disappoint. This is the Rib Knit Crop Halter Top. I did have to take a few of the buttons, uh, like undo a few of the buttons to put it on. But once it's on, baby, this is so cute. It looks super flattering on. The only thing is I wore a bra with it. I'm going to have to either wear a different bra or not wear a bra at all. It's also backless, so I think this is super cute. The material, super stretchy, not see-through. I'm in love with this. I'm giving this a smooth nine and a half out of ten this definitely definitely exceeded my expectations but honestly not mad about it just had to undo some of the button buttons but it doesn't look like stretched out or anything when i put it on i thought it was gonna be way too small and it wasn't so thank god guys that's actually all i have for this video i got so many things and overall i'm gonna give this haul in a solid 8.5 honestly i had a few things that i will definitely be returning but for the most part i can't wait to step out in a few of these items uh, baby these look good this haul definitely exceeded my expectations so i was definitely pleasantly pleasantly surprised of this overall i really enjoyed this haul Guys, we are so close to 200 subscribers, and I just want to thank you guys so much. Be sure to share this with everybody you know, your mom, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your cousin, your uh, sister, your brother, <laughs> your dog, whoever. We're so close to 200 subs, and I'm so thankful, and I just want to thank you guys so much. Make sure to give a big thumbs up if you like my haul, so I can be sure to keep adding and adding and doing more of them for you guys. But with that being said, that's actually all I have for this video, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.